You know, philanthropy isn't just about money. Family Foundation trusteeship can mean taking a leadership role in your community, bringing people together around a common cause, getting deeply involved with issues, and even raising money. Being an effective Family Foundation board member takes time, energy, enthusiasm, and sometimes the willingness to work with your Aunt Ida, even after she stops sending your holiday money because you refuse to get your hair cut. The question is, are you excited and ready for the opportunity to help make the world a better place? This five-minute video poses a series of questions to help you determine whether becoming a Family Foundation trustee is right for you. Question number one, do you know the history of your family's foundation? Have you talked with current or former board members about how the foundation has evolved over time to the present? If the vision of your family foundation is to change the world through modern dance, and your passion is clean water, well then you may need to think about whether your family foundation is the place to make your impact on the world. And remember too that divergent interests can align in ways that aren't immediately obvious, like a dance program that raises awareness about the threats to our planet. And if your family's foundation lacks a clear set of goals and objectives, well then you may be just the person to help craft them. Question number two, do you understand a board member's legal and fiduciary responsibilities? Becoming a board member brings legal regulations related to these responsibilities. Now we can't cover all of these duties in this short video, but it's important to understand that as a trustee, you're held financially and legally responsible for your family foundation. Part of your role may even entail hiring and firing staff and vendors. Question number three, do you understand what good board governance looks like? Good governance requires both the art of compromise and an appreciation for the power of consensus. It also requires the ability to listen closely and the capacity to see the whole picture. Are you able to recognize the validity of others' arguments and to balance your hopes for what is ideal and what is practically possible? Question number four, do you understand how your standing in your community may change? As a public steward of the foundation, you will have a position of authority that will be listed on tax filings. You will be searchable by your college boyfriend, eighth grade teacher, and camp buddy. It's possible that your best friend from high school will corner you at a cocktail party and then make a pitch for his new nonprofit, whose only mission seems to be to help him get out of his parents' house. You should be prepared to face these potentially awkward situations. Question number five. Do you bring any special skills, perspectives, or expertise to the board? Family foundation boards require a variety of skills and expertise, familiarity with investments, budgets, technology, and knowledge of the law, to name just a few. What will your contribution be? Perhaps your involvement on a family foundation board will inspire you to create new skill sets and perspectives. And question number six, do you have the time and willingness to serve? In addition to volunteer activities on behalf of the foundation, you will need to prepare for and attend board meetings and make site visits. Now many of these experiences will be rewarding, inspirational, and fun. But you also might still be in the mode of following your favorite college band across the country. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but it also may mean that this is not the right time for you to join your family foundation board. So let's review. If you've answered yes to all of these questions, well congratulations, you're probably ready to become a Family Foundation board member. And if you answered no to several of these questions, well fear not, because many Family Foundations exist for several decades, if not in perpetuity. You may be ready tomorrow, or not until you're 70, or maybe never. But be honest with yourself, and with those who invited you to participate. I mean, after all, they're family. Because family foundations are indeed family enterprises, well, there's little doubt that at times you'll need to navigate the opportunities and challenges of family dynamics. As a family foundation board member, you'll have the opportunity to get to know your family on a different level. You'll need to learn to communicate in different ways, to have deep and sometimes difficult conversations, to think together about who you are as a family and the culture you want to create. In fact, these conversations within your family may be as meaningful and significant as the change you seek to create in the world at large. 
Interested in learning more about becoming a Family Foundation board member? Check out the National Center for Family Philanthropy's many other resources on good governance, including the annual Trustee Education Institute for New Trustees. Go to www.ncfp.org to learn more.